I mean things are fine so since this resulting uh, tree satisfies both the shape property and the heap property it is we don't need to do anything more but suppose this value had been 10 instead of 2 okay so if this had been 10 then we would have destroyed the heap property in this particular region of the heap now do you see a simple way by which we can restore the heap property here What can we do to restore the heap property here? Can we do some simple? Okay, so 10 here and 4 here. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's right. So Basically, we can keep on bubbling up this node until it reaches a location where the heap property is satisfied with respect to its parent. In this case, 10 is the largest element overall. So it will bubble up all the way up to the top. If you recall, you know, the largest element is found at the top. So that's what is going to happen. If this had been, so I mean, if, if if, if instead of 10, if this had been, say, 7, then 7 would have gotten bubbled up. So um, let me do it separately. 5, 1, okay. And now we add a 7 here. Now the heap property is destroyed here because 4 is less than 7 now. The value of the parent in a max heap needs to be greater than or equal to the value of both these children. So if we swap this element with 4, this becomes 7 and this becomes 4. Note that because when we swap it, the value of this node is has increased. The heap property between this node and its left child will not change. That will continue to be maintained because we are replacing it only with something larger than it. Right? So the uh, the heap property will be maintained with respect to the other uh, child. But now, uh, now that 7 has, so 4 has come here and 7 has come here. Uh, now we need not bubble it further because now the heap property is satisfied with respect to its parent. Right, so 8 is greater than 7. So, this actually is the, um, you know, we have restored the heap property and this is this is the heap so in general in order to insert an element what we need to do is to keep bubbling it up until it reaches the right location where it satisfies the heap property with respect to its parent and yeah i think so insertion is pretty should be pretty simple from this um, I won't write the pseudocode for it because that's something you can probably go and read up yourself. But visually, you need to understand how insertion works. You add, you insert the element in the first empty slot in the array, which means in the level order traversal, you'll insert it at the next gap, uh, at the first gap you see. And then you see if the heap property is satisfied or not. And if it's not satisfied, you bubble up this element. You let it swim to the surface as much as possible until it attains a position where it's satisfying the heap property. Now since the height of this tree, which we have shown earlier, is order log n, the insert operation, which is only working by swapping children and their parents, note that calculating the parent of a child is just an order one operation, right? We just have to apply this simple formula. So going from children to parents or parents to children 
is just an order one operation. Swapping is also an order one operation because you just what you're doing is you're just swapping two elements of an array when you're exchanging a child with its parent. So the number of operations you'll need to perform is going to be proportional to the height of the tree because in the worst case the newly inserted element could bubble up all the way up to the surface as it did here. So the insert operation works in order log n time. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, so let's do the other operation. Remove or extract max. So let's see. Eight six four five one three. Now, we want to remove the largest element of the heap. Now, we know where the largest element is found. It's found at the root. So, we want to remove this uh, 8. Now, again, the challenge here is to remove the largest element in a way that both the shape property and the heap property are satisfied. And in the insertion uh, in, in the insert operation, we maintain the shape property by inserting the new element in the very first get, uh, open slot that you have in the area, which ensured that the shape property was maintained. So can you think of an analogous trick you could use here to delete this 8 in such a way that the shape property is, uh, is, is that the shape property still holds? Because if I just remove this node, this tree will split up into two, right? So is there a way I can prevent that? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. That's right. So, um, yeah. So this is actually the right trick to use here. I know that I have to delete this element 8 anyway but in order to maintain the shape property so if i had deleted an element this element over here that would have maintained the shape property right because then i would be just deleting this element here so my boundary would just shift left by one now i want to do that actually here i want to ensure that i can do something like that here so that my shape property is going to be maintained so one easy way to do that is to remove this 8 from here. But instead of having an empty slot here, why not have an empty slot here by moving this element over here? So if I replace this 8 by a 3, then I'll be shifting this boundary over here and now my shape property is maintained. Because now I have 3, 6, 4, 5, 1. So if I replace this by 3, I'm going to have 3, 6, 4, 5, 1. 
but my heap property is no longer satisfied now because this element 3 is smaller than both of its children so i need to now do something to ensure that this light element this element with a smaller value somehow sinks down to its right place in the insert operation it was the other way around i mean we had we had a heavy element here at the bottom which needed to swim up to the surface because the heaviest element should be at the top and lighter element should be at the bottom so this is a light element with a small value and it's at the top so we need to sink